All right, YouTube. Here we are again, outside in the raging heat of sunny Florida. There's a failed attempt at putting a board in a triangle, but never really built anything. So bear with me, and any advice is definitely appreciated for all of you lumber types. Got these two triangles left. And look what I got here. A complete mock-up done of the first section. It is not done. I know some of you have been saying, what about shear load and what about bracing it up and so on. I'm getting to that. Trust me, it's, it's so hot out here. I can only do a little bit at a time, and then when it's not hot, it's raining. Okay, so enough of that. So, uh, I got gloves on here. Let me toss that off. But uh, you can see the lumber is definitely getting lower, which means we're getting close to being done. You got the Unirac down here, which I, or the Super Strut, excuse me, which I like better than Unirac. Um, the spacing on the, the, Super strut up here, and if I call it Unirac again, it's super strut. Uh, the spacing here is 48 inches, 48 inches, and then between there, it's enough for the ends of the panel. So I did 48 inches because I wanted to be able to adjust up and down on these panels. These panels are about the smallest one's about 62 inch high, but the biggest one is like 66 inch high or 68 inch. I don't remember exactly. So I, I need to be able to adjust up. And uh, besides that, I want these the bottom row here to be high off the ground so that I don't get any splash from rainwater. Let me show you how high it is right now. If it's not high enough, rainwater will hit and cause mud and dirt and whatever else to get up on there. Plus the plants and stuff are going to grow. You know, solar panels act as a nice little water funnel straight to the ground in front of them. So you get a nice uh, big bush of plants in front and uh, it's easier just not to clean that up or cut those down all the time if the panels are close to the ground. We'll end up covering it. Now, in my testing, and you can test this too if you'd like, plants don't seem to cause much of a difference in solar power generation. You take a panel, uh, put a plant in front of it just on the bottom, you know, maybe four or five inches up it, it really does not change it. I don't know why that is. Maybe the photons pass through it and the panels, you know, and the plants eat different things. So who knows? Um, I'm going to put a brace in here, either up and down where diagonal 45 would be nice, but it's going to be real difficult. I don't know if a brace up here will work. So you lumber type, contractor type, you know, tell me what to do here. I'm not real sure. And then the other thing I'd like your help on, if you could, let me see, it's real bright up here. Uh, there's a wood board right here and a wood board right here. I was thinking about making an X right here to help with the shear load off those 2x4s. I could go off these 4x4s which might be better. I don't know. Is there any kind of building technique or something you use for that or should I just make an X and, and call it good? I mean I've got these uh, pieces of super strut here that are lag bolted down. We'll go take a look at those in a second. On each end and I hung from this thing and it's super strong. It does you know tilt maybe an inch or so left and right so I am concerned about the shear weight and again you know it's not complete. That, that kind of stuff will be addressed we will make sure that we don't have a problem because we're going to have 600 to 800-ish uh, pounds of panels on here. So we definitely don't want this thing to collapse in a heavy wind or rainstorms. And I have a feeling that this year, uh, hurricane season is going to be pretty wild with this hot and cold, crazy weather. So half inch by four inch lag screw. The head did not go through here. You know, I'm thinking, I went to the store, I measured this and thought, oh, okay. Half inch bolt, no problem. Half inch will fit in between here. The head did not fit. The washer was a little bit bigger. And then the socket that I used, because I drove these in by hand after I drilled the holes, um, the socket I used was much bigger. I think it was three quarter inch. Um, so I, I took some brake calipers and I actually split these apart with the brake calipers because I work on cars too, love cars. And then just drove my socket in there, pulled the brake caliper out, no damage done, no problem. Uh, the, the parts we're going to use to attach still slid in there. so. It's actually pretty good, you know, now I got this nice big lag screw in here. Um, so, one more look from this side. This thing's monstrous. That's a six foot ladder. This thing's like eight or nine foot tall. I think it's nine foot on the back there. All right. Until next time, YouTube, I gotta get out of here. It's way too hot. Peace out from sunny Florida.